Hey, good morning. It's Steve. You guys told me not to be messing around with that pump house. I was going to burn up my pumps. And, well, you told me so. Let's go get that pump. Man, I got to do something about the condensation out here, too. Let me turn the light on. I mean, look at how wet everything is. You know, water and electricity supposedly don't mix, but this is the guy. I burnt him up. You were right. I burnt him up. You want to watch? Get that thing off there. Man, that's a... Man, I just got to undo that union and that union. A couple of bolts in the foot of it. Unwire it. We'll take it to the shed. Let me get it out of there. All right, old dude's in the shed here, and I got all the bolts out. A couple of threads are holding this one in still. Thank God it's only a month or two old. Sometimes they can be quite hard to get apart, but uh, let's find out what happens when you boil water in a Gould's J10S pump because you don't listen to your plumber. You know, it's one thing not listen to your plumber. It's another thing to not listen to your dad. My dad warned me. But I didn't listen to him. Let's see what's going on in here. I get the funny feeling it's not going to be the diaphragm, but uh, I mean the uh, impeller. Here's the diaphragm. Man, I don't see anything wrong with that. Well, it ain't flat, but it's probably not supposed to be. And look at the discoloration of that seal. Maybe this guy just uh, got so hot it blew out of position. get these screws out and we'll keep going until I uh, run out of the parts that I have I bought a kit man I took old capacitor off there and got me a wrench on that dude to hold that shaft still I was about to show this impeller who's boss and uh man I changed my mind looking everything over here and uh Man, none of this stuff, like I said, this pump's only, well, it might be about six months old. But I know what it was doing after I boiled the water in it. Put the old glue and primer to the test. The pump would pump up to about 60 and then fall down to 50, go back up to 60, 50, 60, 50. So the... The impeller is doing what it's supposed to do. There was something else that was blowing by or leaking by on the inside. This diaphragm is a little distorted, but there's no tears or anything in it. The only evidence of damage, it wasn't leaking out of the shaft seal either. So the only evidence I can find of damage has to do with this seal right here. You can see the discoloration from the the mud it was running by and it, it is distorted i don't know if you can see it here there's some right right there but look when i put it back on here it becomes pretty evident that that you see the gap on the where the discoloration is at compared to here it's not on here anymore so i think what was happening is this thing was coming away and then flexing back as the pressure dropped it settle back in blow away settle back in i'm going to put the pump back together right or wrong with just replacing this one component and we'll try it out and see if uh, that's the only thing that got damaged Wish me luck. Man, look at all the play in this, uh, this cover and the impeller. 
Now when you tighten, before you tighten these screws up, make sure you get old dude centered up in here. So it ain't squealing like hell on you when you first start it up. See how that guy fits on there? Man, I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that got damaged. Man, I know a lot of people would just take and throw every part they bought into one of these pumps, but, uh, you know, a year from now, I'm going to be on a fixed income, so if I can uh, reduce or even replace these things a little cheaper and use only what I got to, it might help me out in 10 years. But you see those three marks right there? They came from this, this, and this. Now look at the other side. See if I, you see how that thing got folded over right there? Man, can you see that? You see it? It's dented pretty hard right there. So this guy got pushed out as well with the seal. You know, it got pushed into the uh, the housing for the impeller. I'm going to flip a coin and decide, uh, let the coin decide if this thing is going to get replaced or not. Here we go. I guess it's heads. When I got old guy put completely back together, got a gauge in him. We'll go test him here in a second, but uh, look at that. February, August of 23, December of 23, November of 23. Everything, all these parts are less than a year old, but uh, I want to give a shout out to old, uh, Jay Lawrence there. He must be the only person working at Ghoul's because this guy packs up every single part. I just thought that was odd. I mean, what are the, what's the likelihood there's only one guy working at Ghoul's that's pump, packing up these parts? All right, let's get to work. I got the old pump reinstalled out here. I got the pressure switch hooked up right here at the moment. I'm going to pipe them both into the same switch. I know there's some back there, but I'm just using them as pecker heads. Let's uh let's go to pump 1. Man uh looks like we're pretty close to running anyways. Let's uh let me turn the pumps off. Let's prime this pump with this valve right here. Okay, let's, uh, we got to change our suction over to here. Man, I got to get these things attached to the foundation of this machine. Now, I never heard this switch click. Pump one. Let me, uh, let me get some water going. Okay. some water going maybe it's oil bubbles I'm hoping come on everybody's counting on me come on this gauge over here you know Oh yeah, it's there. Turn the water off. Come on, qualify the switch. Come on.
Man, I should have just did what everybody else does. to get like up to 70. And I know this is boring, but I, I need to know this for myself. You guys can hit the, the button and fast forward. I want to see where it dead head. This switch is over here on this pump at the moment. So this pump's going to continue to run until I put this on pump 2. Man, I'm pretty sure I got it. I turn the uh I turn the power off to the pumps. I gotta I gotta electrically change a couple things. I still got a stupid timer in here for that float switch. I gotta get that unplumbed so I don't have to wait twenty seconds. Now, I'm pretty sure the only thing that happened is that one little small seal in there. This pump is doing uh, well, it's just as good as it was the day I bought it. Enough of that. I fixed it. Well, the pump. I got a little bit more work to do this thing. Quit goofing around so much. Maybe we better go ahead and stick pump two back in service. Let me see. That's going that way. I need to go this way. Or a suction over to there and uh, turn the pump on. Man, I gotta get that timer out of there. 20 seconds. Man, see, it's the same pressure. This pump isn't gonna come on because this switch. Dang it. I was gonna show you. Man, I'm gonna go ahead and take this gauge off of here. There's uh, something else I'm goofing around with. I need this gauge. You know, I don't know if you should leave these dry or not. Man, there's a lot of air in that dude. I bet he's just as good as now. You know, I guess at the end of the day, you guys, if you want to go out there and you want to play around with your pumps, I wouldn't do it if it's the only pump you got. But if, uh, if you can goof around experiment with the control systems on your pump and you inadvertently boil the water in a Gould's pump man don't worry Jay Lawrence is packing up all the parts you need to get that guy going again you're only going to need this one right here if you boil the water in your pump a 5K 555 packed by Jay Lawrence. You might not believe it, but if it was warmer outside, I'm tempted to go stick this guy back in it. Because I'm pretty sure this dude would still work. It's risky, 
but I can try it. Anyways, I'm done goofing around. Like I said, don't do what I do. I'm just, uh, well, I'm living and learning. You got to admit, though. <laughs> you might not like purple primer, but uh, that stuff works. All right. Thanks for giving me somebody to talk to. Hope I didn't bore you. I got a couple more ideas coming up. Hope you come back and watch. You guys have a great day. I'm out.